So if you could stand up, sir, and, and come with me. Chris, I need somebody to grab him. That's forcing people. What's that for? 64-year-old man. Brother, he's never done nothing. He's never done anything. He's sitting in the car. He's not getting anything. Oh, my God. Look at him. On the ground. Just drag off. Embarrassment to Australia. Absolute embarrassment. The rest of the world is going to be laughing at this. The rest of the world is going to look at West Australian police like absolute morons. I'll let you know I'm 64 year old man with a heart condition. Say that again. Say that again. No, say that again. 64 year old man with a heart condition. This is Guy Guy Dows. So he's a 64 year old man with a, with a heart condition. He's told you guys. It's disgusting. Honestly, man. No worries. Making her back here. Looks like they're making her back here. Take the dog away from me, please. Your dog's back. Okay, well, then. Look, here we go. One guy. A 64 year old man. He never done nothing. Never done anything. He was standing. He was sitting in the park. Oh my god, look at him! On the ground, just drag off. Jesus, lad, come on! What's wrong with you? The world is going to be laughing at this. What's wrong with you, boy? Alright, the Rangers have said there's time to move on. Okay, in the session. Make sure there's a range of the Rangers. Okay, but we've been told by the Rangers. He's shaking, look, he's shaking. So you need to go. Look how much he's shaking. He's fucking shitting it. Look, he's take off. He knows what he's doing what? is wrong. Look at him. But at the moment, understand. he's shaking. Look okay, at his arms shaking. Driver's license on you? Look at his pen no. shaking as well. Look. Whose driver's license no, is yeah, that? Look at him. This knowledge I just know. Sorry? Oh, I'm sorry. Sure. I've got a few of them. My Okay, then. What's your first thing? Oh. Here, he can't write because he's shaking so much. Look. He can't write because he's shaking so much. That tells us everything, yeah? Oh, he doesn't want to be doing what he's doing. His face is red as well, look. Right? It's roasted. Yeah, no, man. You, think you know what you're doing is wrong. You know. You know. Well. Okay. Well, I bet you well, do this? I bet you've seen his eyes. You like to see off Lincoln Park. It's WA's right now. You haven't seen through his soul. Can you tell him the town? You're saying at the council. No, I leave him. He's one of the good guys. He just doesn't realize it. You know? Oh my god, they're arresting another old man. Why are you doing this? Are you see you're forcing people. That's against their You take him. Can you take him. Can you take him. Can you take him. I can't believe they're making this deal. I'm shocked. They've been issued a move on order and they're not moving on. So, how long do you have when you get a move on order? I'm going to give a few requests and I know you're not going to move. You might as well just get in. They're making an embarrassment for themselves. Sorry, that's what they're making an embarrassment for themselves. That's 24 hours. Anyway, at the end of the day, they force people to go in this place and do what they want. So the other day we're not here to talk about this. Okay, you've been told that the permit ran out yesterday. Let, let me finish, let me finish. Um, it's now past 5.30, okay, so now we're asking you to move on. Yeah, okay. right. You are working under a You can explain that. Yeah. I can explain that. I've heard you. Now I'd like you to leave. I just like to understand that. Alright, take care. Okay. I'm going to show you. Take that for you, right? Sarah, yeah, I'm with you. Just say goodbye. Bye, baby girl. See you later. Sorry. 
he wasn't seated. Choker in the back. Choker in the back, she said. Choker in the back. Choker. Oh. <laughs> so much carrots banana peel, apparently. Okay. Choker in the back there, guys. He's just sitting there reading a book in the park. It's daylight hours. We're being treated like little children. Move on notice. This guy here is meditating, totally ignoring a police, which is absolutely awesome. Good on you, buddy, because I would I'd struggle to ignore him. There's a religious guy just there, just about to get arrested. Here's these, look at these, it just, I just feel disgusted to be an Australian, look at these pricks. So I'm with, uh, what's your name? Zephyr. I'm with Zephyr today. He was sitting exactly on the ground just as he is right now. Reading my devotional there, read, book. Reading your... Devotional book? Reading his devotional book, just minding his own business. He was in a park, in a public place, sitting exactly as he is now, but with his head down in his book. Four police come and surrounded him, I think it was four. Around four, so, yeah. three or four, and next thing you know, I couldn't get any more footage. But then I found out you were arrested, which I knew you were going to get arrested, but I didn't see it. And then suddenly, uh, I have found out you're 17. So yeah, you're definitely 17. I am 17. Yeah. And, and what what was that experience like for you? To, uh, it was a, insane. I mean, I I never thought that that would be the way I would go to go to jail. You know, like sitting on the ground. Reading my book, I was with, I was there with the protests, and it's like, yeah, like, just in the in a public park, in a public park, trespassing. That's it, that's how they, that's what they said. Public park trespassing. Yeah, unbelievable. And did you get any charges? No, because I'm 17. They issued me a warning. They took me all the way to the police station and then, then they, let me go with a warning. So they didn't know your age until you got back to the police station. No, they knew before. But they yep. still took you through the process. Yep, yep. Um, it was you? a show. No, they didn't. No DNA. Me. No, no. None of that. Good on at least. Yeah, this is my first time ever arrested, and I'm pretty shocked, honestly. Yeah, I didn't think it would go down like this. I was I was sitting in the back of that police car for for a while, and it's a white room with a with a little window with these bars on the window, and I was looking out the window at all the people driving by, and I just thought, how am I sitting here with these people? Not even caring that down just down the road, like the the one like peaceful protest in in WA, people just literally sitting hanging out in the park with their gazebos up, is being like kicked out, moved on, you know. And now I'm here in this in the back of this claustrophobic little little place. They did have aircon. I thought that was very charitable of them. Aircon for me, yeah. Um, and two cameras, two cameras to make sure that I was safe. You are a bloody legend Thanks, for standing bro. up for the future of Australia and and letting it be known that uh, you are a free person and that you you deserve free choice as a citizen of this earth. And I think that's awesome that you mm -hmm. stood up for the future of humanity, mate. So well done, yeah, And Zephyr. we'll continue to, as, we'll... As, all, as all of us should. You know, as anyone who, who supports the right to freedom and who wants the right to freedom and thinks that that would be beneficial to a good society, should. All of you should be out here right now protesting with us. Yep. And it looks like you've got a bit of a fan base behind me there, so I'll just get the fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually, they, they started filming me and I said to him, I was like, I'm, because I'm 17 as well, like him. I think, I don't know if there's anyone else who's 17. Oh, there's a 16 year old girl, but anyway, I said, I was like to him, I was like, oh, like, I don't really want to be on film because I'm a minor. I'm like crying. I'll you like, eyes are <laughs> Um, Do you and not I was want like, this on there? I can put your Oh, no, it's okay. My eyes there. just like stinging. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, to the guy, I was like, um, like I'm, I was like, I'm 17. I think someone who was with us filmed it. Yeah. One yeah. of the guys or something. But I was like, I was like, I'm a minor. Like, I, this is just after he got arrested, too. I was like, I don't want to be filmed. And the guy's like, I'm not filming you. Was, like, straight at me. And was like, telling us all to leave because we wanted to stand with him. Because obviously he's like 17. We were like, we wanted to all stand there and like support him. And then, yeah, they were like, trying to to like leave. Bring it up. Unreal. Yeah. Yeah. So, can, I, can I say also, my I'm, I'm triple vaccinated. I've had my booster. <laughs> I am I'm fully vaccinated. I'm here as well. I, I think that everyone should be allowed to go into stores. Mm -hmm. I don't think the government has a right to say 
um, if businesses can open their doors to whoever they want. Uh, that's not their right, I don't think. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you're like, oh, they, they're all lunatics here that aren't vaccinated. I, I'm vaccinated, so I think that counts me as a non-lunatic, and I'm here. <laughs> so, come down and support. We all need to be here. Over in, over in East, Canberra is going off. There's, like, there's millions of people there. So yeah, we need we need to get that going here. Yeah, yeah show that we're. Serious. I think everyone should come, like Vax or not. Yeah, we're all we're all everyone. going through this together. Like, yeah, we're all yeah. in the same fight. They're, they're seventeen, they're seventeen, eighteen years old, and they're standing up for the future of uh, of Alex. Australian freedoms under the Commonwealth that they were born with. So they realise that the, the rights and privileges that they had that when they were born are now being taken from them, and they are standing up against the government government decisions that they're trying to impose on, on humanity. So I appreciate your time, guys. It looks like you're going to have a good future in front of you uh, in your fight for freedom, and it's going to be up to people like you to continue this in the future generations. Because I'm 47, I'm 47, and I can't do this forever. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's up to you guys to carry the flag into the future carry for the rest the of humanity. So. Choose the right side yeah. of history. Absolutely. Well done. Good on you. Awesome. Legends. Um, it's time to leave. You need to go. Watch your dog. Oh, we're right. Okay. You need to start leaving. I'm working now. Unfortunately, mate, look, it's time to move on, alright? I'm an independent journalist. I'm working. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's but unfortunately, you're going to have to step off the park to work. Uh, alright, mate? Tell now, the, what's tell the happening world. here? I have the people are sitting down are saying nothing. They're not causing no trouble, no violence. They're sitting quiet. There's about a hundred police here. Trespassing in public? Look at them. Independent media targeting. Yeah. Targeting the independent yeah. media. Yeah. Targeting the independent targeting media. Targeting this is where we're going to go online. Yeah. What is it? There's got to be a there's got to be a time frame on that. Document. They're going to come arrest me in a minute. Can it's you read it? Only glasses. Oh, so I'm standing in front of the cops. We can do anything. Well, we can't control that. So yeah. We don't have the numbers. Yeah, so we all know the. Where the fuck is rest of Australia? Where West Australia? That's what I'm pissed off. Yeah. I know, mate. Well, oh, they're sitting in front of their TVs or and they're pushing beds. Well, we can't control that. Let's control what we Every can. Every day we have to grow and bigger and more. Let's and more. Right. Dude, right now, come over. Yes. We have women and children here! We have women and children here! We use that. We'll nail it against the Commonwealth. Because they've wiped out my family and they're sick and tired of them people bullying people. I am Muradin. I am, I am from the custodian bloodline here. They are my grandmothers and grandfathers. Shame on you. I am actually the queen of this country here. You dare, you dare to touch my people here, who is my bloodline? I need to be the rightful queen of this country. You don't want to comply to the rightful custodian owners. You do not allow to talk. You do not speak. You do not have the central authority. Okay. No comment. If you don't provide your identification, you may be arrested. We don't need to abide by anything. My name's Ivan Hector. You're my family. You're a Khan. Why, my family? Come on, Uncle. Why? You're my uncle, come on, you're my nephew. Khan's in my bloodline. Come on, you know Auntie Tanya Khan and Mary. You, step away from you know my bloodline. You're my family, how dare you? You carry the Indian bloodline, like Genghis Khan's bloodline. Yeah, hey, that's him. You carry the name, it's not your territorial ground. Yes, I know, but I'm saying it's not on the authority, you people have my family tree. You go to court, you're already here, and there's a big white.
Anyway, let's start. Journalists, journaling. Yeah, yeah, start. Yeah, unbelievable. You want to sign? Would you like to sign? Okay. Let's just uh, say that we've read it to you. I agree. I'm saying hello. I'm going to and then when I told him that he was coming with me, I got surrounded and mobbed. Look, you need so, mobbed. I'm sorry that I sorry swore at you, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry I swore at so you. I wasn't there. I, I was just trying, there, right? We've never seen trying to do a conversation. So, and we are having a conversation back, mate. I appreciate this is a conversation. That. This is this is one we are together on the this show of power is having a picnic in the park. Having a picnic in the park. Look what's going on here. Mate, there you go. Absolutely. That's forcing people. What's that for? 64-year-old man. He's never done nothing. He's never done nothing. He's sitting in the park. Oh, my God. Look at him. On the ground. Just drag off. Embarrassment to Australia. Absolute embarrassment. The rest of the world is going to be laughing at this. The rest of the world is going to look at West Australian police like absolute morons. Sorry, you are. Yeah. But one thing you don't do is shout or swear. I've got a real good lawyer, and that there we've got it all here, all on camera, and I'll get in contact with Steve um, Gabriel. He's the one that sat with me down there for the roadway highway when I ended up getting removed like this. But they never dragged me like that. They actually held me by the hand and escorted me. You know, uh, what do you? Can you say some camera, Maria? What's happening here? Tell now, the, what's tell the happening world. here? I have the people are sitting down and saying nothing. They're not causing no trouble, no violence. They are sitting quiet. Now I've just witnessed. What's the brother name? Uh, you just saw a guy. I just saw a guy. He just he, take another guy. The guy has just got taken away in the in the van. Bob not, the builder. For not yeah, really. Bob the builder. For not saying his name. For not complying with the law. Is, so they're arresting people. Bob the so builder. Arresting us and they forcing us. What were the people doing here? We're just having a barbecue and get it together. Isn't that a crime? How many police are here? There's about a hundred police here. There's about a hundred police standing on. Has anybody here done any action? No. Everybody here done no acts of crime. We all sat here today and had a good old yarn. Is, is that a crime for all of us? This is Western Australia. And what about, who's causing all this problem? Is it, is it, is it is the government implementing these policies? McGowan? What's the deal? I believe McGowan. Um, pick, pick, pick on the ladies who are just having a picnic. Look at them. Do they look like bad people of society? Look at the police here. Do they really look like such bad members of society they have to ask them to move on? I mean, look at the ladies in the background here, they just look like normal mums, normal grandmums, normal, normal people. A cup of tea. They are enjoying the outdoor weather of this planet that they were born free upon. But our freedoms are now being imposed upon us. Here we go. What's that? Yeah, but you're part of this group? Yeah, so socialising in the group. Yeah, yeah, so the group's been half by the city of Fair. I don't know. Pretty good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
that you want our testosterone level. Oh, okay? oh, remember that? Hello again. Remember what you said last time? You need yeah. to leave. You're not. You're still here. Yeah, I'm waiting for okay? my friend. No, that's what you're doing. Okay, so if I please have your full name, your date of birth, and your address. Can you please state? Can you please state? I'll come with you. I'll call you. I'll call you. No, no, but I need it for us. Yeah, so my name's Pastor Tommy from Ballager Police Station. My road title is 16876. Okay, nice to meet you. There you go. All right. So, what was your full name? Well, like we said, unfortunately, everyone's been ordered to move on. The Rangers have revoked basically if you've been here, therefore you are not trespassing. We have directed you to leave. You failed to do so, and now we have to issue you a moving order, okay? Because you're refusing to leave the area. So, what was your surname? There you go. Unfortunately, what's your first name? Unfortunately, I don't get to deal with what's there. I get to deal with what's more and what's not. Yes. What's on your driver's license? It is law. So you're known as Faith. It's more trespass. It's more. Okay. I'm a living sovereign. Okay, no problem. We'll stand back. If you guys move on, I'm not a problem. All departments heaven. Okay. I do not. 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 What's your name? Yes, that's all coming up on our system. Now, directions to the area. So we'll give you a move on. How are you spelling it? F A B D E S. That's, I'm not asking what your mum calls you. I'm asking well, what is written down on your name. bank card, what's what is written down on your library card, what is written down on any other card. Okay, we'll go to Springcourt Gardens, is that okay? If you don't, we'll wish you would have moved on. Alright, let's all head up to Springcourt Gardens, guys. Good, I'm about to speak to you, mate. Hey, yeah. I just got this, I'm a part of the group. Yeah, my name's Sergeant Lyon, I'm from the police station. Yes. Okay. So, Do you mind if I go? I'm just going. Well, if you return, sir, we will speak to you. Fair enough. And you will get a move on later.